Today we'll be looking at OneDrive for collaboration. With Office 365, everyone at Compton College has access to a OneDrive account. It's a great tool for storing files, videos, pictures, essentially anything you need to save can go here. Two great features are its ability to share what you save with others and to create collaborative documents. First, go to the Compton College website and select the My Compton icon. Log in once you're prompted to do so. In the top left hand corner of the website, select the nine dots in front of SharePoint. You should see an option for OneDrive listed. If you don't, select all apps at the end of the list and search for OneDrive. Inside of OneDrive, you will have the ability to share documents or folders that are saved here. When you upload a Word document, Excel spreadsheet, or PowerPoint presentation, OneDrive has the ability to make the document a collaborative one so multiple users can edit a document at the same time. Let's talk about sharing documents. When you have a file uploaded, hover your mouse over it. You should see a small arrow appear across from the name of the document. Select it and you will be presented with sharing options. On the send link window, select the box labeled anyone with the link can edit. Selecting this will allow you to edit user access controls. The first option, anyone with the link, allows anyone who clicks on the link to access the document. People in Compton College with the link allows anyone with a Compton College account to access the document. They will need to log into their Compton College account first before opening the link. People with existing access is typically used as an additional restriction level after you have already granted a group access. This option limits the ability of the link to be shared with others. You can designate specific people permission to access the document. When looking at additional settings for documents, you will want to make sure the Allow Editing option is checked for those you want to have editing rights. You have the ability to limit a user's editing to only making comments or suggestions by checking the Open in Review Mode option. You can set an expiration date for access. Once the date arrives, the system will remove permission to access the document. You can also create a password for added security. Lastly, you can control whether users have the ability to download the file. This is a great way to control what others can do while they have access to a document you have shared. This option only works if you remove a user's editing ability. It should be noted that you cannot allow someone to edit a document and block their ability to download it. After you have made all your selections, select Apply and you'll be taken back to the Send Link screen. Copy the link and send it to whoever you want to grant access to the document. This is a great tool for students who are working on group projects because it allows multiple people to work on a common document. It's a great platform for tracking a student's progress and providing feedback throughout the paper writing or project development process. You have the ability to add comments to students' work and provide feedback that they need to achieve mastery. The last great feature of OneDrive is its ability to track the activity of a document. If you hover over the document and select the three dots to the right of the name, a menu will open. Select the details option and a screen to the right will include a preview of the document, a list of users who have access to the document, and an activity log that lets you know who accessed the document and made changes or left comments. OneDrive is one technological tool Compton College has available that can be used to promote collaboration and improve student learning experiences. If you would like more tips or guidance on using OneDrive in your teaching or learning, please contact the Distance Education Department. If you need assistance troubleshooting your OneDrive account, please contact the Help Desk using the information on this screen.